Anyway, the first step is to have your background as a movie clip. This is so you can make changes when needed. Next, you'll want to import the polyfill pack. It's in a movie clip, so select Import, Do Not Hide, because you'll need to access the polyfills in the stick library. Now, you can add your reference image as a sprite. If you want to be super manga accurate, you can trace a panel, but remember, that's still somebody's hard work despite being official. And tracing is for losers. You have to get good enough to not rely on manga panels eventually. There's multiple ways to do this part. You can mold the polyfill in a blank frame, copy frame, and place it in a blank movie clip. Or, you can work directly in a blank movie clip. Either way, you'll want to make the polyfill character a movie clip at some point that you can animate. Now, start shaping the polyfill to match your vision slash panel that you're copying. In this situation, I separated the top and bottom half because I wanted to have them move independently of each other. It makes it easier to animate, but you don't have to, especially if your character isn't moving at all. When animating hair and clothes, I like to move it slightly, making a 3-4 frame loop while double, triple, or quadruple framing depending on the situation. You can also tween it slightly, but you need to edit the tween frames to follow arcs. Also, learn how to use auto camera by experimenting with locking your movie clip characters and changing their parallax. Combine this with frame delays, make sure to select move camera during delay, and proper use of wobble. Little to no rotation, little XY movement, and low wobble speed. And you'll have something presentable, probably. Now, you're almost done. It's good to make keyframes and save those as separate movie clips before you add in-betweens. There's one more thing to learn. For harsh lighting, you'll need a glow effect. Stronger light equals less opaque. I'll try to add glow and lens flare in the description. Now, this is why you need to make the polyfill a movie clip. Strong light equals strong shadows, so you need to add a strong tint to the movie clip. The tint doesn't always have to be black. When the light is harsh, use the drop shadow. Usually looks better with less blur, and angle it in the direction of the light source. When lighting is harsh, you don't need to use drop shadow to make highlights. Instead, you can make a copy of the movie clip, tint it to 100% black, or the color of the shadow, and lower the opacity, and move it slightly away from the original movie clip slash character. You can also blur the shadow, but I don't like doing that. The part that isn't being covered by the shadow should be facing the light source. Now, you're almost, almost done. I just need to teach you lens flares. Lens flares usually represent the sun. They should be on the uppermost layers and be the brightest thing in the scene. The background and foreground should also follow the same lighting rules as the characters, darken and add highlights. I like to make my lens flares move by increasing and decreasing its size a little. When the lens flare is on something, it creates harsher shadows than normal. Now, you might be wondering why I'm dropping a free tutorial in the first place. Reason 1. Views. Reason 2. It's all a ploy to get people on the team, by the way. A lot of the people who try out for my team fail, mostly because they're trying to be action animators when they're not as good as the current team. Don't try out for the action animator role when you just hold the team back. If you really want to animate, but aren't good enough, there's another route, and it's with stills. We need people to animate dialogue scenes so that the action animators can focus on action. Doing still slash dialogue is not hard. It's just polyfill with simple hair and clothes movement on a 2-4 frame loop. The only problem is the lack of people willing to do it is taking time away from us focusing on action. We only have action animators suffering from success. Scuff tutorial, but I don't care bruh, I need people to do dialogue!